This video is about replacing the signal strength meter in a Biomaster 8000. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website www.biolover.com. Here you see the opened up Biomaster 8000. Uh, this is the uh, signal strength meter. It's part of the control panel. And so now we need to open up and remove the uh, circuit board from the back side of that control panel. Now we take the screws out. So there are five screws. Let me speed this up a little. So and now the uh, board comes off. It's good to put the sliders and the buttons all to the bottom. That makes it easier to put the circuit board back on. And now we have the uh, meter in the open and we can uh, extract it. So we need to pull these two tabs a little bit outside and push against it from below. And then it comes right out. Yeah, there you go. When the new signal meter arrived from Denmark, uh, it was supplied by Martin, or Dylan, as he is known on BioWorld.com. Uh, I thought it was interesting to check it out before inserting it into the BioMaster, so I took my own meter to it. And it seems that uh, such a signal meter has 750 ohms, and it has a voltage range of about 0 to 150 millivolts. The defective meter was open circuit, so something got disconnected inside. Okay, let's put the new meter in. So for this we have to position it at those two uh, tabs and make sure to not break them. And then we need to pull those two tabs a little bit apart and clamp it in. So now it's solid in place. Now it is time to put the circuit board back on and the difficult part is now to line up these um, connectors between the switches and the sliders on the board with their counterparts on the uh, cover of the control panel. And this typically takes a little bit of time and trial and error until everything falls into place. The best way is to put all the sliders and buttons to the bottom and do the same for their counterparts on the board and then carefully put the circuit board onto the cover and then just try to get things lined up. So this may take a few times of trial and error. So you see one has to work this a, a few times until it then finally comes together. It's good to move the sliders and the buttons up and down if there is a doubt whether they caught or not. And then often when they are not aligned properly, they fall into place while moving them. Okay, that looks pretty good, and so it's time to put the screws back in. After putting the bolts in, I soldered the two contact tabs of the meter to the wires from the board, and now it's time to try it out.
Okay, it seems to be fixed. This concludes my video about replacing the signal strength meter in a Biomaster 8000. Thanks for watching.